So I will click on that. All right. Model must be reloaded after relative permeability is unconverted. So if you want to continue, press this button, continue and reload. We need to reload because relative permeability is actually an initial parameter. Okay. Basically, normally it's not something that we can adjust easily. So if you want to change the relative permeability, better you do that before anything started. Okay. So that's why we need to go back. We need to reload. Okay. So, and so I will do that. All right. So let's press the reload button. Okay. All right. Okay. So the conversion occurs successfully. Now you can see the relative permeability in tabular form. They are now shaded in gray and they are not changeable anymore but now we have relative permeability in Cori correlation like this but still you cannot change it because you actually convert from the original data into this form so it's given okay so you can see the minimal water saturation 0 0.2 maximal water saturation of course one and the NOW as well as the NW Okay, now in, you have values that can be varied. Okay, if you think that N is something that is uncertain, then you can use N as a variable. If you think N is in reality something that can be varied, then you will put N as something to be adjusted in order to achieve the, the good matching. So I hope I don't explain too long or too much. I hope you get uh, my idea here. So this is the Cori correlations parameters as well as the values. Okay. Oh, I missed something. Yeah, we need to run. We need to run with the exiting parameters that we have. Okay. Yeah, this is actually we use a simple case from the navigator and it is very practical. The model is quite fast, it's not too big, so we can learn in a relatively shorter period of time. So with the data that we have, with all the existing values that we have, you can see we haven't reached a good match. Okay, we can concentrate only on the oil rate, the simulated or calculated rate, and the historical. Also the water. So you can see the, the dashed line are for the history, both red for oil and blue for water. And the solid lines are for the calculated or the simulated both red and blue so you clearly you can see they don't match okay that's why that's the motivation we want to do assisted history matching and please notice it's not auto history matching it's not totally done by the team navigator by the software it's assisted history matching so the main player of the history matching is actually the simulator it's the person that handles the simulation it's the person but the person will be assisted by or or maybe the vice versa yeah maybe the the, the the one who will do the history matching the software but the software will be assisted by the engineer or maybe the other way around but it's assisted it's not auto okay so from here after noticing that we haven't reached any good match we want to do history matching by the way you need to remember this value some values because i want to adjust here for the rp you remember the value 2 and 3.9 for the curvature okay and for the rp gas oil gas oil system 
4.2 and 4.4. Later, we will use this n as something that is variable. So let's go to matching the magic wand here. Create history matching project. No HM history matching variables in the model. Do you want to add some variables? Yes, we do. 